Please give insights on how the Chinese acquired Israel's Lavi aircraft technology, thereby creating its own J-10C variant, uncanny resemblance. Let's take a look at what these aircraft are like. So the Israeli, let's talk about the Israeli Lavi. Is Okay, let me share my screen. What does that aircraft look like? So the Israeli Lavi, Lavi aircraft looks like this. It is a derivative of the American F-16 aircraft. So that's uh, what this aircraft is. They used some, they used the American F-16 as the basis for creating this Israeli variant. So the Lavi is essentially the Israeli version a slightly enhanced and modified version of the American F-16 aircraft from the 1970s. It's a good aircraft. As you can see, if you know what the F-16 looks like, it looks like similar to this. There is this air intake for the jet and all that. So this is the Israeli Lavi. Now, now let's take a, take a look at the Chinese J-10. J-10 fighter. It looks like a modified version of the Lavi, doesn't it? The resemblance, like the comment says over here, is uncanny. And it's it's therefore it's it's quite clear that there is some sort of a familial relationship between the Lavi and the and the Chinese J10, J10C. There clearly is. So if you look at the history of this Chinese fighter jet, I think the development was flagged off in the early 1980s and it took uh, 10, 15, 20 years for the aircraft to be developed. I think it was inducted into the Chinese Air Force in the late, in the mid or late 2000s, between 2003 or 2000 and 2010, somewhere there. Okay, you can look up the exact details if you're interested. And people have alleged that the Chinese somehow acquired Israeli inputs, Israeli technology to create this aircraft, the J-10, which was at the time the most advanced aircraft the Chinese had. It is still in operation. They have more than 500 of these aircraft that are still in operation or that have been built. So that's a big number. So what's the, what's the truth? See, the Israelis were very interested in China as a market for their defense equipment. The Israelis have this reasonably advanced, quite advanced defense manufacturing industry. They manufacture all kinds of defense equipment, aircraft, tanks, missiles, and other things, lots of other things. And China is a big market for this. So the Israelis were very interested in the Chinese market. They had good relations with China, with the Chinese Communist Party, and they wanted to sell all kinds of stuff to the Chinese. It is the Americans who vetoed this Israeli move. The Americans prevented Israel from taking such a relationship further and making it a big relationship. Because the Americans know what the China, by that time the Americans had understood what China's real objectives are. The Chinese objective is to replace and displace the US as the global superpower. So that would be a big threat to the US if Israeli technology made its way into Chinese hands. But apparently it looks like this aircraft's technology had already made its way into the Chinese hands. So most likely the Israelis supplied their Lavi aircraft technology, blueprints, designs, whatever it was, to the Chinese, of course, for a fee. And that's how the Chinese were able to develop this J-10 aircraft. So the Israelis were very interested in China. When the Chinese market was off limits to them because of their American masters, that's when they developed these, this this good relationship with India, because India is also a huge market for defense equipment. And India and Israel are cooperating to a large extent right now in, in a variety of ways in, in terms of defense equipment. But their original objective, their or, original goal was to uh, get into the Chinese market. So that's how you see this uncanny resemblance between these two very different aircraft.